Hello people on the internet, the uh, Rookie360 here and I'm back for another review. And today we'll be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Rise of the Bees, Core Class, RC. Don't actually don't actually got her packaging, but um, let's get started, shall we? Anyways, her accessories right here and stuff, which we'll like um show off later anyways. But anyways, here we actually got um Core Class RC in her um, bike mode. And um, um, she actually looks um, quite decent in the bike mode. I do actually like the bike mode and stuff. It looks quite great and stuff. So um, anyway, let's like start, shall we? So um, here we actually got her bike mode and stuff. It looks quite great and stuff. Yeah, there are actually minor issues and stuff. But um, uh, yeah, there's some parts I mistransformed. But anyway, let's like start, shall we? So we had, here we actually got the front of the bumper. You actually have a nice black window over here. And actually, some silver headlights right here and stuff. Looks quite great on the front and stuff. And um, you actually have some white paint and stuff. So yeah. Um, anyway, um, the wheels right here can actually move like this and stuff. And the um, the wheels right here, like the 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 paint right here on the wheel, looks quite great. I do like it a lot and stuff. It looks quite amazing and stuff. Like the like the detail, the sculpting on this wheel looks quite great. So yeah. Um, yeah, you can see some bit cables over here. Um, um, you can see some more like um details she actually has and stuff, like the the red paint, the white paint, the sculpting, and everything. And um, um, but yeah, um, he actually got more details over here. Not really much to talk about the bike mode and stuff. And yeah, the, the hands are, I mean, the arms are sticking out and stuff. The the back of the wheels look quite nice, like the paint and everything. You know, this right here looks a lot better than right here. I do like that a lot. Looks quite great and stuff. Um, some more sculpting detail over here. Stuff in there. Um, you actually got a silver paint right here. Looks quite great. Not really much to talk about the bike mode and stuff. So yeah, she rolls well pretty well. For comparison, I don't actually got a figure to compare. So um, let's just get started, shall we? Um... Anyway, if you guys like, um, you can actually get the, I can actually get the effect of your way later on. Anyways, um, um, transformation is quite simple and easy that, um, uh, anybody can do. There we go. And, um, here's the weapon. Okay, we can move like this. Oh yeah, we actually move like this, and I'm, um, um, get the legs out of the way, and, um, and what else? Oh yeah. Um, what did I... You know, I guess we could leave it like this. And... Wait, hold on, there's no, something missing about this, um... I feel like, like, I'm, I'm missing something, but, um... No, I guess that's, that's about it. Is it like <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. No, I think that's about it right now. Anyways, um, um um We actually got that out of the way, so um we actually got um core class um RC and her um robot mode and um she might be not the best and stuff, but um the core class is it's decent what it is and stuff. She has this cable sticking down and stuff. Which it is what it is and stuff. Now she actually does come with her gun right here. The scoping on this looks, looks decent and stuff. I do wish it, she was do. I mean, I wish she actually had like two of them. But I guess it is what it is and stuff. But anyway, look at Star Shadow. So here we actually got the figure. Um, like I said, it might be not the best figure. I I prefer the Bumblebee movie RC, but um, but yeah. Anyway, look at Star Shelly. 
um, you really have to get the head sculpt. Um, the head sculpt looks quite nice. You can barely make out of it. Um, you can see it's actually painted the black and blue eyes right here and the pink face and uh, the white helmet and stuff. Um, I'm surprised they actually managed to paint that for a small figure and stuff. I do like that a lot. So um, the paint on it looks quite nice and stuff. Um, the sculpting on it looks quite great and stuff. So I do like to sculpt the head. She does actually have this cable right here and stuff. It does get annoying and stuff, but yeah. The chest right here, like the, the paint and the sculpting and everything, looks quite great and stuff. I do like the, some of the details over here she has, so um, she, it looks quite great. The arms right here, like um, I do like the detail they, they actually did in the arms right here. Um, but yeah. Now you can see she has, to, yeah, has some pink paint right here. She actually has more pink paint right here and uh, some more detail right here, which I wish it was painted. The sculpting on the um, arms, not the best, but it is what it is. Um, the um, but anyways, you can see like um, if you guys want to, you can actually like um, put on the weapon right here. So, yeah. Anyways, the legs right here, like she actually has some hollowness right here and stuff. Um, and the leg details like look, looks quite great and stuff. I even though it's kind of like I'm um, not much to talk about, but um. It is a core class, so yeah. The red paint on this looks nice and stuff. Scoping not the best, but yeah. But um, it is what it is and stuff. But um, uh, but yeah. Red articulation, her head can move around and stuff. I think it's on the ball joint, arms on the ball joint. This right here, then ball joint can move. Okay, this can actually move around right here, get some poses, but but the wheels get in the way. Legs on the ball joint, this can move around and stuff. So. Yeah. Anyways, um, um, for comparison, here she is, here is with Bumblebee, and she's um, um compared with them really good. Yeah, I think that it is bad, bad accurate. She was smaller in the movie. Like I remember, she was like um, um a lot tall in the Bumblebee. She was like taller than him, but now she's shorter than him. But yeah. Oh, look at that. The wheel came off. Wait. Let me just like pop that back in. <laughs> oh my god. I am not editing that out. Anyways, would I recommend this quarter clock RC? Well, technically, this is actually another better RC from Rise of the Beast. This is the, um, um, the game. It's like the $14. I do recommend getting that one more if you actually want a more Podavilli RC. Like, a more, like, accurate. But this, like, it's $10. So, um, I do kind of recommend it and stuff. So, I'm sorry the video is kind of short because there's not really much to talk about. So, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.